Hey guys, this is TechRacer and today we're going to see how to unlock the bootloader and flash a custom recovery on the OnePlus 5T and this procedure is exactly same for all the OnePlus devices which includes 3, 3T, 5, 5T and even the OnePlus 6 and the link for the custom recovery file will be in the description as well or you can just go down to the Google and search for the images. Now before proceeding with the unlocking of the bootloader, make sure that you back up each and everything from your phone because this method will completely wipe down everything from your phone including the internal storage. Now once you have backed up the storage, simply go to the settings, scroll up, up, go to about phone and tap the build number 7 times until you see the developer options. Once you see the developer option, click on it, scroll up, click on USB debugging, OK and also enable the OEM unlocking. Click on it and just enter the pin or password that you have. So once you enter the pin or password, it will show us a warning, just click on enable and OEM unlocking will be enabled. Now simply just hold down the power button, click on reboot and then click on bootloader and then touch to reboot. Now this will reboot the phone into the fast boot or the bootloader mode. Once you see this type of screen, it means that we are in a fast boot mode and as you can see device state is locked. It means that we have locked bootloader. Now just simply connect the USB cable and make sure the phone is detected on the computer. So once you are on the computer, just launch the command prompt as administrator or you can also use the uh, windows powershell and once it's launched type the first command as fastboot devices click on enter and is, you will see a device name and a fastboot icon it means that we have successfully connected our uh, device to the computer using a fastboot mode now we have to type down a command which is fastboot oem unlock so just type fast boot OEM unlock. Now this will uh, send a message to the phone to unlock its bootloader. Now click on enter. Now once you hit the enter, you will see something like this on your phone. It may it just says that uh, unlocking bootloader will uh, allow us to uh, install the custom ROMs and things like that, but it will avoid the security and uh, stuff like that. So just simply use the power button to just navigate up and down and go to unlock the bootloader and click on the power button. So just navigate, make sure that the blue highlighter is on the unlock the bootloader. Now click on the power button. As you can see bootloader is unlocked. Now the bootloader is unlocked and it will reboot the phone and it will wipe everything including the internal storage. So guys once we finish setting up the device simply go to settings scroll down to about phone and tap the build number again 7 times to enable the developer option go to developer option and just click on advanced reboot now simply press the power button and again uh, boot into the bootloader mode or the fast boot mode as we have to flash the custom recovery so this will boot the phone again into the fast boot mode as you can see the phone is in the fast boot mode and this time it says device state as unlock it means that we have successfully unlocked the bootloader now simply connect the phone using the USB cable. Now on the computer make sure you extract the recovery image file into some folder. Go to that folder, press and hold the shift button and right click and open the command prompt or even the powershell. And once it opens up, simply type down the command as fastboot devices and it should also list device and it should list down the device connected now simply type in the command fastboot flash recovery so in my case this is the recovery file so simply right click on it go to rename and select everything and copy and now simply right click and it will automatically paste the name make sure that the statement ends with dot img now simply press enter now it will flash the recovery onto the phone as you can see it says finished it means that we have successfully flashed the recovery now go back to the phone and use the volume keys to navigate once you see the recovery mode press on the power button as you can see we are in the team win recovery project so it means that we have successfully flashed the recovery and the phone is also detected on the computer so let's quickly boot back to the system. So 
so guys this is it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos so thank you guys thanks for watching